everyone, it's Beaching Nails. I'm going to show you how I do my vertical gradient with a dry brush and acrylic paints. I'm using Apple Barrel Key West and Craft Smart Celery Color. Now I actually went over an existing Manny. Can you believe it? I still have that on. And <laughs> it held up. I'm just going to go ahead and add just a little bit. And I went ahead and because I'm, I went over an existing Manny, I used a sponge, which I use sea sponges, and the celery color. And I just sponged it on top of my existing Manny. And I did not top coat or anything. And I mean, I had great coverage. You can't really see my Manny, what I had underneath. And we're going to dry brush. And for this, the brush is dry. There's nothing on it. I'm going to dip in half of my brush in one color, half in another. And I'm going to work these two in. Dip a little bit more color. Now this is where you need to decide which side do you want the green on, which side do you want the blue on. And you literally are just going down. I do see there's a piece of the brush. Can you see that? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to load up my brush some more. back into my spot here and back on my nail. Now if you want it more prominent on the side over here just take the edge of your brush and go again. You can even dip back into that color. Go back over it. Just going to load my brush up a little bit more. And go one more time. Now what I like about playing with acrylic paints, if I didn't like this, I can use water and wipe it off. I can use rubbing alcohol and wipe it off and I'm back to a fresh start. When you start playing with nail polishes, you know, yes, it's it's not as forgiving. You can remove it. But you gotta wait for your base to dry, go through all that over again, and yeah, it's a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let this dry. I'm going to top coat it and we'll come back. I just wanted to show you guys. I went ahead and I removed my liquid latex. And I wanna show you really quick, because I know some of you had asked, let me look for a cleanup brush here. Now I had found to be the quickest, easiest is right now I have been using non-acetone, not acetone, but non-acetone. It's got a little bit of like a conditioner inside it, so I'm not totally drying my nails out. It's just a scrap piece of paper towel here. And I just go in to clean up. Now I'll get as close as I can with this brush. This one is shot, this cleanup brush is. This is an e.l.f. brush. As you can see, it's really poofy on the end there. It's kind of blown up. I'll use this for, you know, kind of like for scrubbing because it's already shot and ruined. But I'll get as close as I can with this brush. And it's not over if you accidentally hit your nail. 
because we have not yet, we haven't discarded this yet. We still have this. Keep this out, keep this handy. Wait until you're top coated and you're good to go. If you don't do your cleanup now, and you go ahead and you top coat, when you go to wash it off, you have a chance, there's an opportunity for as you're scrubbing along here, for water to get up and it can lift your, your paint, it can lift your art and pull it all off. You don't want that. So give yourself a good cleanup. Make sure you have a little bit of nail showing down here by your cuticle. That way your top coat has something to adhere to. So you have a solid seal. Hit your free edge and make sure you hit your side walls too. Sometimes a lot of people tend to forget about the side area here because they're always, why is my acrylic paint peeling off? Why doesn't yours? When I do an acrylic mani, the sucker stays on if I was to leave it on. It would stay on for a good solid week. I mean, I still have this mani on, which is shocker for me. And this started out with one coat of white nail polish, then white acrylic paint over it, stamped it, or I'm sorry, acrylic paint, matte coated it, stamped it, and threw Sharpie marker over it. And it's still there. It's still there. Amazing, isn't it? Great Manny. Okay, now it's all cleaned up. It has a matte coat on it. I'm really liking the final results here. Now for art, I am so torn. I so want to use this Messy Mansion 48 plate, the Paisleys. I've used it, I don't know how many times already. I know this image is floating everywhere throughout the internet and Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and everything. So I'm not going to use it. I want to. My heart tells me to do it. I so want to do it, but I want to do something different. I've used that image millions of times and I want to try something different this time. Plus with a base like this, I kind of want to keep it a little open and it is open image and it look really nice stamped in black. That would be this right here. That's Messy Mansion 48. That would look so cool over that stamped in black. Even stamped in white. White looks gorgeous over this nail too. But I am going to be using VL3 and I am going to slap that palm tree right there, center it up, and put it on my nail. Go ahead and turn my plate around. Oh, let me see here. Yep, I actually need to stamp this one upside down because this one works better upside down. And I am looking for my black stamping polish. You guys ever go to do your nails and you lose your bottle, your stamping polish, or your go-to polish, and you're looking everywhere on your desk for it or your table or wherever you have your stuff at? I mark mine just so I know to help stand out out of all the black caps, you know, who to grab. And sometimes even with them being marked, you know, um, I'll have, like, this top coat's marked, and that means it's getting low, it's kind of goopy, great for a gradient. Don't use that to, you know, go over a stamped image, though, because you've got a good chance you're going to smear it. Alrighty, i got my tools out. I've got my scraper. I've got my Fab Your Nail stamper. I've got my stamping brush. Or, I'm sorry, my stamping polish. Give my plate a quick clean. Now, I've been asked when I stamp single images, how do I line it up? Well, for me, what works best for me is I go from the tip of my nail and I will go up and press. Now it depends on the actual image to be honest with you. If it was an image like this one here I wouldn't be able to do that that way because what will happen is is it's gonna get all wonky in shape and I don't want that. So something like that I would have to line it up and then roll it over. That would be the best way for a, a rounder circular image. Now this one's heavily etched. It is a knockoff plate. Sometimes with knockoff plates I will use more polish in them because they sometimes are more stubborn than others. 
and it picked up great but if you see right here at the top of the tree there's something on my stamper I noticed that and I'm not taking any chances so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off and clean my stamper and I see it's still on my stamper the lint roller did not remove it now these stampers from Fab Your Nails they're not like the old school marshmallowy squishy stampers that you know get eaten alive when you use acetone these are made out of a different material and acetone is actually safe on them Fab even recommends it and has been using acetone to clean hers for quite some time now and I clean mine like every other lint roller acetone back and forth and that's honestly I think my last stamper bit the dust from using the lint roller too much you know those suckers are really sticky you know these stamper heads are are sensitive and after pulling on it so many times kinda like a rubber band you know they're gonna get stretch marks they're gonna get little tear marks in there and you know next minute you know it's falling apart on you and it starts messing up your images when you're stamping but that's my personal opinion on that I am stamping. Look at that. Just a little island, some palm trees. I like this palm tree because it does show detail in the leaves. It's not just plain. You, you see some texture in there. Now I can add a topper that has a little bit of glitter, a little bit of shimmer in it. Or I can leave it. Um, I don't know. I probably could have stamped over a little bit more on it, but the island itself is centered in my nail. But the trees are, are not centered within the island. So it's pick and choose. Do you want your tree centered or do you want the island centered? Alrighty, you guys take care. Hang ten. Bye-bye.